Welcome to Lecture Online. Here's another very typical type of problem that students may run into trouble with. Typical mistakes we should avoid. For example, if we look at this rational expression, and we look at this rational expression, notice we have an x minus y, and we have an x squared minus y squared. Now you may think that, oh, we can simplify this and this. We could say that this can be x minus y divided by x minus y, which is 1, and this can be written as x minus y. But that would not be correct. We cannot do that. That is wrong. Instead, take a look at over here. Here we have an x minus y, and we have an x minus y quantity squared. Here we can say that we can divide this one by x minus y, which becomes 1, and this can be written as x minus y, and that would be correct. Notice the difference. Here it's x squared minus y squared. Here's the quantity x minus y squared. This is the same as that. This is to the first power. This is to the second power. So you can go ahead and simplify that. Instead, what we should do, let me rewrite the problem. Here we have an x plus y divided by x squared minus y squared times x minus y divided by x times y. What we can do instead is we can factor this because this is the difference of squares. And so this can be written as x plus y divided by x plus y times x minus y. If we multiply these two together, we end up with this denominator again. And then we multiply this times x minus y and x times y. Now realize that we have an x minus y here and we have an x minus y and since we're only dividing and multiplying, we can divide this by x minus y. We can divide this by x minus y and simplify it that way. And we have an x plus y over here and an x plus y over here. So this simplifies to a 1 and this simplifies to 1. And this can therefore be written as 1 divided by x times y. So notice this cannot be done straight like this. You have to first factor this, write it as a product of two binomials before you can start simplifying. There's one more thing that we might run into in an example like this. Because here we see an x plus y and here we see an x times y. And quite often students think that, hey, we have an x over here, we have an x over there. We can simplify that, call that a 1, call that a 1. But again, you cannot do that. That is wrong. The reason is because this is not multiplied. This is x plus y and x times y. Because of that, you cannot simplify this. You can only do that if this was a product, not when it's a sum. So therefore, again, another one of those pitfalls you might run into that you have to be careful of.